It's a fight in. It's fighting. Ah, it's only a trout. Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Saban, and this is another episode of Terraria. Now, last time you would have seen this little hive that uh, I've built, and this will be completely unusual to you. It's following onto the other bubble that I've got in the base, and this is basically to um, harvest some fishing supplies. Now, basically, if you first time playing playing and, and doing fishing or all that kind of thing you need a fishing rod now you can build a fishing rod very easily it's using wood and all sorts of uh, i think it's wood and stone or something like that and you do it on the the normal work i might even be able to make one now yeah <laughs> um it's literally just wood so you could do that if you wanted a five percent uh, fishing power one now i have got demonite and i already made it and it's over here, the Fisher of Souls I made. And that's 20% fishing power. Now, I got this because what I'm looking to get is a Reaver Shark. Now, a Reaver Shark is such a powerful pickaxe uh, for pre-hard mode. Really want it. And also, I love sharks personally as well. So, naturally, um, I wanted to do that. Now, next thing you need is bait. Now, bait is hard to come by. You go around, you sort of... Demolish anything. Hopefully I can find one just to sort of show you, which would be great. No, not going to do it for me. Thank you for that. <laughs> you just find them in grass, basically. So you cut grass, and as long as you've got a fishing net, bug net, um, get it right, uh, you can catch them, and then you just pick them up. You've probably already seen it in my little chest that I've done up there. Um, but the best place to find bugs and all sorts of things that you can use for bait um they may not be the most powerful but at least you can get a lot of them um is these little bushes now this is why i've made this so i made it enough so that they grow but not enough so that like trees and other things grow and also i can just run around it and it's fairly quick and it's quite easy to do so you just demolish these and little bugs fall out there you go and it's a lot of the time you get two or three come out of it now that is efficiency if I do not know that. Alright? So, can't really argue with that. So, you go around, just demolish them all. And, yeah, it's jungle biome, jungle seeds, plant them, just let them grow. Don't have to do anything special. Don't even have to water them when you're doing the cells. It's clever little monkeys. Now, just be careful not to hit the little sluggies when you do harvest them. By the time you get to the bottom, you'll see some NPCs. They're just like chilling. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. I'll I'll do all the work. You just, oops. You just play games. That's absolutely fine. So I've got the, um, what's it called? Aztec guy. I can't remember what his name is, but um, it gives you all sorts of stuff. But I ain't in the frame of mind to do that kind of stuff at the moment. I'm in fishing mode. So I'm not going to show you every single fishing that I do because I'm sure you'll get that excitement when you do it yourself <laughs> because I think it'll take quite a while now I managed to pick up a couple as you can see so 11 grubbies uh, sluggies and a buggy so I'm not really sure I don't know whether you can use snails but you can see I've got loads so it really works fireflies and butterflies are really good there's a certain butterfly which is really really good which I'll put on the screen I think um, just to show you that I've got some gold frogs uh, so yeah we're doing really well so I'm gonna pick all these up so next stop is the ocean because the ocean is the only place you can get a reaver shark you can uh, you can fish all sorts of places but reaver shark ocean that's all you need to know so let's go and well you only have to blink and you'll get there but it's going to take me a little while see you later well yeah i had a notification that a meteorite uh, dropped somewhere <laughs> there it is made a right mess thanks for that <laughs> what what is going on why is it raining slimes? <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> is, it, is this a joke? Okay, we've made it to the ocean while the slimes are uh, doing their thing here. Um, I'm not sure if it makes any difference. Ooh. Okay, that is the end. I got really confused then because my screen didn't move. Excuse me, slimes, you were there. <laughs> Thanks for just dropping. All right, so this is literally the edge of the earth here. All right, okay, I'm having a bit of a mare here. I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to get rid of these slimes until they uh, chill. 
Okay, while I've been uh, doing things, we've got an angler there, which could be quite interesting because he might give me some stuff actually. Hello. Quest. Watch your step when I need through the jungle waters. Why? How long do these slimes last? <laughs> I just want to get on with things. I just want to fit. Oh, sorry, angler. <laughs> Okay, so now all the carnage is uh, subsided and uh, chilled, like, out, alright, so I can actually do what I came here to do. So we've got a fish or assaults. Now, quite easy to fish, you just throw it out there. Now I've got 223 grubbies, 6 sluggies, 2 buggies, so yeah, correction, 223 grubbies, 81 sluggies, 32 buggies, so in total 363, so I've got some grasshoppers, fireflies and some worms as well in amongst all that. So very simple to fish, you just throw it out there, wait for it to bob and pull it back in and you've got a red snapper. Now you just got to keep repeating the process until you get what you want. Bomb fish, trout. Another trout. A wooden crate. Oh, I'll be opening that shortly. It's just a shrimp. I don't want a shrimp. A sawtooth shark. A what? What on earth? Nice little axe. Well, that's kind of. That's a comical little thing to get. Trout. Another trout. Red snapper. Tribute. Uh, uh, another trout? What are the odds? Here you go, shark. Take this. Come back. Take the bait. Yeah, lads, watch yourself here, mate. Sharks patrolling around again there. Nothing to see here, shark. Just keep on moving, mate. Unless you're a reefer, shark. And take a little nibble. Ooh, a swordfish. Well, that's something. Something a bit new. I think you're just a poker. Give me a shark so I can poke you in the eye with it. Come here. Oh, he's a fighting. He's fighting. Ah, it's only a trout. A reefer shark? What? Wow, we actually managed to get it. It took a lot of uh, uh, resources, but there we go. San, it should be one bomb to destroy all this. Even had to get the old honeybee out to try and... What's a revolt shark? Well, that was successful eventually. We managed to get Sawtooth, We've got some Swordfish, We've got a few of those, got four of those, We've got some Iron Crates and Wooden Crates, but this was just basically to show you how to fish, how to get a Reba Shark, and how long it takes me. It will take a little bit longer, I think, probably with the wooden one, but because it's worth it in the end. Okay, we're back home, and to summarize, we've got the Reba Shark, which is definitely something that I wanted. It looks so good. If I can catch it, there we go. It looks amazing. I love sharks anyway, so it had to be done. I've got 37 snappers, uh, 173 trout, 37 tuners, 19 shrimp, 19 bombfish, and some wooden crates, and iron crates, and swordfish, and sawtooth shark, which we have seen. So these are all the chests that I managed to get from that little fishing exercise. Um, so I've just now got to open them all. Okay, see what we can get. I'll open them all and then see what drops on the floor because there'll be loads of stuff, I think. Okay. <laughs> Don't really know. A load of gold bars. Fantastic. Oops, I shouldn't have highlighted them. Journeyman bait. Okay. Cool, cool. Iron bar, obsidian skin, jagged. Got an extractinator. Tungsten. There's a little random things. Still stuff on the ground, but yeah. Not bad little haulage from uh, fishing. 
The main thing was we got the, uh, the Reaper Shark, which is what we wanted. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you like these kind of videos, that it's a bit um, shows you how to do stuff. Then let me know and I'll do some more. So thank you very much. Bye.